In this video, we're going to answer the question of what is a radian? So here we have a wheel, and this is the radius r. And over here is what's called an arc length. An arc length is just a portion of the circle, and over here is also r. And when we're talking about radians, radians is an angle, and it is a ratio. So it is measuring an angle and is more fundamental than a degree because a radian is based on a radius. And it's based on the ratio of the arc length S divided by the radius. So if the arc length is equal to the length of a radius, so if S is equal to R, so this S right there is equal to the length of the radius, then we get a 1. So one radian is the angle if the object or this wheel rotates an angle where the arc length is equal to the length of the radius. Now let's think about what happens if this wheel were to rotate uh, 360 degrees, one full revolution. So if it goes one full revolution, uh, then the arc length is going to be the circumference, which is 2 pi r. If we plug in 2 pi r for the arc length, we end up with 2 pi. So a full rotation, full uh, rotation, or if you go all the way around 360 degrees, uh, in radians, it would be 2 pi. So 2 pi uh, radians would be one revolution. We can write it this way as well. So 2 pi radians is the same angle as 300 and 60 degrees. So now let's take a look at some examples. Why would we use radians? Well, radians allows us to use an equation like this. Uh, linear speed is equal to the angular speed times the r, the radius. And so imagine we have this wheel which is rotating and we have, want to know what is the linear speed at the uh, edge of the wheel. So let's say at this location right here, right? Put a little star right here, okay? Um, so what is the linear speed? Uh, this equation will not work if you're using degrees. It requires uh, the numbers to be, the units for the uh, angular speed to be in radians. Uh, so let's say that this were rotating at five, radians per second. So every second, it's rotating five radians uh, of angle. So we'll plug in five radians per second. And let's say that the radius was 0.3. So the radius is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, uh, 0.3 meters. Okay, so we can multiply these two numbers and we get 1.5 meters per second. So at this location here, at this location here, this edge of the wheel, uh, the linear speed is 1.5 meters per second. And its rotational speed or the angular speed is 5 radians per second. And the linear speed depends on uh, how far from the axis of rotation? Uh, what is the r? That affects the linear speed. So the farther away you are from the axis of rotation, uh, the greater the linear speed. Uh, now, another reason why we use radians is we can use this equation, which is for the acceleration. The tangential acceleration is equal to the angular acceleration times the radius. So let's say that we have an angular acceleration of two radians per second squared. And we have a radius of 0.4 meters. So once again, we can multiply this and we get 0.8 meters per second squared. So we would not be able to do this calculations if we were using degrees. Uh, in order to use this equation, you'd have to be using radians. Now, are there other reasons why we might use radians? So here are a few more reasons why we might use uh, radians. Here are some more quantities that use radians. An example would be the angular momentum, which is the angular momentum is equal to the moment of inertia 
times the angular velocity. Torque also uses radians because torque is equal to the moment of inertia or the rotational inertia times, times the angular uh, acceleration. So these, these angular velocities and angular accelerations use radians. Another example would be rotational energy. Uh, K rot is equal to 1 over 2 times the moment of inertia times the angular velocity squared. And then we have simple harmonic motion where the angular, uh, we have angular frequency uh, is equal to 2 pi over the period. So these are some reasons why we use uh, radians. It also has benefits in math as well, but in this video, we're focusing on the physics.